Caught my 21 female boyfriend 21 male cheating on me in January did I do the right thing? My boyfriend and I have been dating for a year and a half now May 2020. We had what people around us saw as the ideal relationship we didn't argue often. And when we did we would always make up with a calm conversation. He really seems to care about me. And if you had asked me in January, I would say our relationship was going pretty great. We live in the same dorm in college. So we see each other constantly. Occasionally, I got the feeling he was interested in other women. But oftentimes there was no concrete evidence to back it up like he would get super excited with certain people in conversation every time they talked. Or would constantly be bringing up certain people. However, I didn't want to accuse him of anything for no reason. And I was pretty sure it was me being insecure. However, I left for home over winter break. And when I got back, I discovered that my boyfriend had been cheating on me for two months with his co-worker who also lives in our dorm. I was horrified and deeply hurt. Usually, when people cheat, they said something like, it meant nothing it was just an accident. He seemed genuinely sorry that he had cheated on me. But he said that not only did it really mean something to him, but that he had feelings for this other woman for several months at work, and it had built until they decided to cheat, and that he continues to have feelings for her, as well as other people that we know. He also said he never intended to tell me. I spent time with both him and the other woman every day during the time that they cheated and neither let on that they were seeing each other. At the time, I decided that since he had been so honest about it, and that he seemed to be really invested in fixing our relationship, that I would be patient not forget, but at least allow him to show that he wanted to be with me. Since then, our relationship has been rocky I keep hearing that he and her met up and talked for hours, or something to that effect, and whenever I bring it up he tells me that it wasn't his fault and that I shouldn't worry about it. I am the type of person who wants to be in a firm relationship for the long term my partner doesn't have to bend to my every will. But I want something solid and reliable. My boyfriend has always said he doesn't want to get married to anyone although he brings it up to me as though we will be together forever. And goes between saying he wants to be within a polyamorous relationship and saying he only ever wants to be with me. Side note sometimes. He says that he thinks he's polyamorous. But is it bad if I don't entirely believe him? I think polyamory is a real thing that works for some people. But I sometimes think that the girl he cheated on me with convinced him that by him cheating, he's actually opening himself up to polyamory. That's not how it's supposed to go. I don't want to break up with him I like him a lot. But currently, living in quarantine in a building with him and the other woman, I feel crazy, brushed to the side, and depressed with our relationship. Should I have broken up with him? Should I break up with him now? What should I do? I think you need to see things clearly. He admitted to cheating and took accountability for it yes but that doesn't mean he's invested in a relationship with you. He openly admitted his feelings for the other woman and that he clearly wants something with her. He never intended to tell you probably because he assumed that they would get together eventually and leave you. I think you should let him go it doesn't seem he loves you the way you love him. Also, don't go into a polyamorous relationship if that's not your thing. If you know you'll get jealous or feel hurt by sharing someone and you can only love only person truly then don't. You will only be hurt by this even more. A few days before I found out, he had brought up that he was interested in polyamory I talked to the girl recently, and she said that at the time they had this idea that we would all three be in a relationship with no problem, would never work out that way when coming into it from cheating. He should have talked to you about it and asked if you are okay with him sleeping dating with another woman. Not doing it and then admit when you find out. Hey I was touched by your story and I am in a very weird situation myself. I am a mother who is very close friends with my son's girlfriend's family well. My son has been dating Carla since high school. Carla is from a family that our family has been friends with for decades now. So both of us were very excited when they dated. And now everybody is convinced they are some dream couple or something. They are both very good looking. Intelligent charming kids who clearly seem to love each other very much. It's not hard to see why so many people hold their relationship on a pedestal. Except, my son is cheating on her. Just some context. We live in a brownstone. He lives in the bottom apartment. So while we are in the same house technically he lives separate from us. Around 7 months ago. We heard him giggling with another girl getting into his apartment. We went to the staircase down below and heard them go in through the hallways giggling with each other. I went to confront him the next day. And voila! 
She was there, on the couch. He apologized and said he was sorry and not to tell Carla and all this other stuff. I wasn't going to betray his trust either way. But at the time I just thought, well, he is a good looking 21 year old who has been with one girl for five years now. My mindset was that this is inevitable to an extent or rather highly suspected. And I hoped he would just get it out of his system. But he didn't. I don't think he realizes how easily we can hear him in that apartment. Since that time, he has brought multiple other girls over. Including that same girl again two months later. I think it's been four times now. Now it is just an unspoken thing with him that he cheats on her. I've tried talking to him about it and he just denies and denies and then gets silent when we tell him that we can hear him. The only time he ever admitted it was when he said he always uses a condom. And that he isn't dating anyone else. Just casual sex sometimes. And he said that the last time is his last. And that he feels bad but that at his job bar back he has girls who flirt with him a lot and he just gives in. He also said that either way he is leaving his job and so it's gonna end then. This was the last time we caught him. When he finally admitted it. That was about a month and a half ago. I keep hoping this means he is actually going to stop. But my issue is that he has the mentality of a cheater now. He knows he can get away with it. And I have some experience with this. Considering my ex-husband cheated on me in very much the same way. He got sober. And as part of getting sober or something like that. He revealed to me he had cheated on me casually with countless women the entire time we dated and were married. And I never even had a clue. And that scares me a tiny bit in regards to my son and Carla. That if he never gets caught. He will just continue it. The other more major issue is that I am very close friends with Carla's mom. Every time we chat about them. I feel like I am lying to her face about the reality of the relationship. It strained my relationship with her and their entire family so much. It makes me feel terrible. I keep thinking how horrible it's gonna be if Carla ever finds out and breaks up with him. I mean, what am I supposed to do? My husband seems to have no qualms about lying right to their face. But I feel terrible about it. I've been living with a situation for six years and I want to express to y'all how I feel. I remember, maybe five years ago, overhearing my husband and his friend talking. They were talking about a bar they had gone to for a friend's birthday presumably four months before the conversation where apparently there were some very young horny woman there flirting with him and his friends. My husband said that he felt bad about what he did that night and the friend asked if he ever told me. And he said oh no. I don't want to cause a riff like that for a mistake I made and then he said he didn't want to talk about it because it made him feel bad. And he doesn't ever want to do something like that again. It wasn't exactly hard for me to connect the dots. He cheated on me that night with some girl at a bar. And yet, at the same time, some part of me was relieved. I always had some suspicion of cheating in the back of my mind. Partially due to the fact that there is a wide gap in attractiveness between us he's like a solid 9-10. I am. Not even close to that. And the fact that he slept with a lot of beautiful women before me. But the fact that he said he. Regretted it. He felt bad. He viewed it as a mistake etc. That was such a weird weight off of me. Because part of me thought he was possibly ducking around on me a lot and not even feeling bad about it. It was all I needed to hear. From him to his friend meaning honesty. He isn't just lying to me to make me feel better. That he genuinely felt horrible and viewed it as a mistake. I never brought it up with him. And now, five years later, I feel angry at him over it. Partially due to a series of events which have reminded me of it. One was watching a TV show which heavily involves casual cheating. And the other was listening to my friend have a mental breakdown over her boyfriend of four years cheat on her in a very similar way to how my husband cheated. I put the cheating into the back of my mind for a very long time. And now I can't stop thinking about it. It's not the act itself. It's that he knew that it could break apart our marriage. That it would devastate me to find out. And he still did it. It's so weird how there are feelings I have about this that I didn't even consider the first time around. I was sort of raised in a culture. Re family where cheating was so ridiculously common and I suppose that had an impact on me. Like my dad. He had girlfriends on the side. Usually girls who he slept with and never dated. But my mom still had this weirdly amazing relationship with him and always looked the other way. That also applied to like. Half the men in my life growing up. I think that had a big impact on how I viewed this type of stuff. But I feel almost silly for just totally forgiving him because he felt bad about it. 
and I almost feel gross at myself for almost feeling relieved because my standards meant my expectation were so much worse. That finding out he cheated and felt bad was an improvement over what I presumed. I feel almost grossed out at both him and also myself for having such low standards. I just have all of these mixed feelings, mostly angry and upset at him, but at the same time, it was five years ago. How am I supposed to deal with this? Do I just tell him? God what an awkward conversation that would be. Am I just going to be perpetually mad at him until I have some sort of relevation or something? Part of me almost just thinks I should drop it. It's not worth it. But then I also have this feeling that it's the same thoughts I had five years ago. And I hate myself for having those thoughts. Hit like. If you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you.